Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Boas, and today I'm going to be taking you through um, feeding a few of my leopard geckos, and also we're going to be feeding one of my um, bigger females that's just about ready for this season. She's all thickened up, guys. She's gained some really good weight, and uh, we're just giving her her last few meals, and we're going to be pairing her up with uh, my male albino cow on December 1st, so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And my male albino cow, who is in um, the top enclosure right here, guys, I think has got the job done. I'm pretty sure, if you guys have watched my uh, past videos, I have posted an ovulation video. I'm pretty sure that I either um, seen a nice pre-swell or a full-on ovulation because she was a little bit thicker in the oncoming days um, after that video so I'm hoping that he got the job done but just to be sure guys we're gonna be leaving him in there for at least another three weeks um, you know just to make sure that the job did get done and uh, you know so wish us the best guys on that and like I said so right around uh, December 1st I'm gonna take the albino um, out of here and I'm going to probably give him a meal, give him a couple days of rest. And then probably around the 5th or the 7th of December, I'm going to move him over here with this big girl that's in the hide right here. Who we're going to showcase and uh, we're going to give her another meal. She just She's eating a medium rat every 5 to 7 days right now. I've been giving her lodges, but today I just grabbed her a medium. She did eat uh, 6 days ago. She had a large rat. So I'm going to give her a medium today. She'll probably have about another couple mediums or another few lodges in the next three weeks. And she'll be prime time to go, guys. So without any further ado, I'm going to put the camera down so I can get things going with the crickets and the mealworms. And um, so I can finally uh, maybe be in front of the camera instead of always behind it. So just give me one second, guys, and uh, let me get this set up. Okay guys, I'm Mike here from Ball and Bowers and if you guys obviously haven't seen me before, this is what I look like and I just wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be going over some amazing things this breeding season. As I told you guys um, in past videos, we have four females here at Ball and Bowers that we're going to be um, definitely pairing up this year and we also have a fifth female that's in here. She, Her name is Empress. She's just about a six foot BCI Colombian possible head annery. So uh, we might be um, pairing her up too. But without any further ado, guys, let's get going on the um, the crickets and the mealworms that we're going to be giving to some of the geckos today. So right here, guys, I have um, 18 lodge crickets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corner off and I'm going to put some calcium powder that you see right here on these crickets. And what I do is I give um, calcium powder on every other feeding with the cricket. So... The last time they got them, I didn't put any calcium powder, so this time I will, and so on and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do is, because I did feed these guys yesterday, the Cuban night anoles, um, they ate yesterday, and also the uh, green anoles over here, the common green anoles, they ate yesterday also. But uh, we're going to be feeding um, these leopard geckos today. Also, there's a small... Um, small baby sub-adult male albino leopard gecko that's going to be getting um, a few things to eat. I already gave him some mealworms and they're gone now so we'll probably give him a few more. I already gave him eight this morning. So without any further ado guys let's get going. I'll show you guys how I do this. So what we're going to do is like I said we're going to take the bag we're going to cut a corner off of it just like this. Not a big corner but a small corner and then we're going to open up the calcium powder. And when we get that calcium powder opened up, guys, we're going to take a few pinches. Like I said, I have 18 lodge, so probably going to do four good pinches. Three, four. And we're going to cover that hole, and we're just going to give them a good shake like this. Then what we'll do is here, I'm actually probably going to give the female um, Night and Noah a few more. She loves crickets. Alright guys, we just gave her six more crickets. up, oh, and she's already getting them as you guys can see. She loves her crickets. So uh, again, we gave her a dozen crickets yesterday and we gave the uh, male 
He does not like crickets. We gave him uh, five super worms yesterday, and I do have a few more for him today. If he wants to eat, I don't know if he's going to or not, but as you see, the female, she's even hungry, so I think I'm going to up her feedings now where she's getting a little bigger. I'm going to up her feedings to 18 large crickets um, at a time because I did get her a dozen yesterday, and there was actually 13 in the bag, so she ate 13 large yesterday, and I just gave her another six, and um, she's already got three of them, so... I think I'm going to up our feedings to about 18, maybe even two dozen. So, uh, and I feed her twice a week, guys. I usually feed her, um, I feed her on a Monday, and then I'll feed them again on about Wednesday or Thursday, and then they're usually good to the following Monday. And uh, and if they're showing signs of being very hungry, I will feed them a third time in that week. All right, guys. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to move this tank over here. So I can uh, get at these leopard geckos and uh, feed them guys. And I'm going to pick up the camera for you guys so you guys can see this. Alright guys. Uh, what I have in here right now is two male leopard geckos. Uh, one of them is a Murphy's patternless, and the other one is almost patternless. And then I do have in um, a 37.3 now. She's 37.3 um, grams, so she's a female. So she, I usually like my females around 40 grams to breed, but so she's almost there, and I've been giving her a good amount of food, so I felt comfortable enough to actually, you know, let her go in with the males, and, and she's only been in now for about a, maybe seven to eight days. I'm going to be putting a nesting box in next week, uh, just so we can, uh, you know, start get going. Maybe we'll have some eggs in a month or two, who knows. Um, so, hold on, guys. So, what we're going to do is, we have about, um, we have about 12, 13 crickets here, and we're going to throw them in. All right, they're all in, guys. And these guys do eat mealworms almost every day, so um, they're usually pretty well fed. I give them a lot of mealworms. Crickets, they only get twice a week, but uh, mealworms, I usually uh, give them some small mealworms on a daily basis. So actually we will put a couple more in their bowl. We always leave a few in their bowl for them just in case they want to.